The STAR and Snowflake schemas are approaches for designing and organizing a data warehouse. And they're given those names because they resemble the Snowflake and STAR shapes. Now, let me first talk about what a schema is, though. A schema is a blueprint for how a database is organized. It's kind of like a blueprint on a construction project, but we're just using a blueprint for our database. Now, each of these schemas, the STAR and Snowflake schemas, include what are called fact and dimension tables. So a fact table is sort of the heart of our design, the heart of our data warehouse. They're measurements, things that we can quantify like sales. And then around the fact, we have supporting dimensions, which basically provide additional context or information. It's things like the customers that you know gave us those sales, the products that they purchased, the employees who worked at our stores or our call centers, and information about different dates. All of those dimensions support, again, the fact, which is the heart of our data. So the STAR schema is simpler than the Snowflake schema. You've got a fact at the heart and the supporting dimensions. It's supposed to kind of look like a STAR, even though it doesn't exactly look like that here. And what the Snowflake schema does is kind of break that down even further. It further normalizes the STAR schema. It takes those dimensions and normalizes them further. Now, we've got a separate video on database normalization. It'll talk more about, about that. Now, as you think about this, about the STAR schema, the Snowflake schema, or other designs for your data warehouse, oftentimes you're trading storage and performance. There's kind of some trade-offs there. As you normalize, you can save storage, like further normalizing is moving from a STAR to a Snowflake schema. As you denormalize, though, which would be moving in the direction of the STAR schema, you can potentially improve performance. And so as you're thinking about this, any design for a database or a data warehouse, you're oftentimes making trade-offs in terms of storage and performance. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. And if you're interested in a SQL cheat sheet, you can find one over at CodyBaldwin.com.